The Razer Blade 14 steals the crown as the best gaming laptop you can buy right now. Throw in an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX processor and up to an NVIDIA RTX 3080, and you've got the potential for a hot mess. Fortunately, the Razer Blade 14 is anything but. Razer has pulled off the impossible, delivering a fantastic gaming experience in a tiny form factor. With a lower starting price of $1,800, there's little reason to opt for the Razer Blade 15, as the smaller sibling has stolen the crown from what was the best gaming laptop. A new king has arrived. Despite its smaller size and asking price, it looks nearly identical to the Razer Blade 15. It has the same all-black aluminum exterior, green snake logo on the lid, and little in the way of big vents or gaudy design elements. It's the same type of minimalist gaming laptop with amazing build quality that the Razer Blade line has always delivered. There's a reason people call these laptops the MacBooks of gaming laptops. The primary change with the Razer Blade 14, of course, is the size of the screen. The 14-inch gaming laptop is a new trend led by popular options like the ROG Zephyrus G14 and the Predator Trident 300 SE. This actually isn't the first 14-inch Razer Blade, there was a model way back in 2013. But outside of the screen size, this new version has little to do with the 2013 model. The processor, graphics, and cooling technology have finally caught up to the demand for smaller gaming laptops, and the 2021 Razer Blade 14 is the response to that desire. The Razer Blade 14 matches what is offered by the 15-inch model in terms of the quality of the screen. It's a 16 to 914 40p IPS display with a 165Hz refresh rate. That's both a high resolution and high refresh rate, which is the best of both worlds. That's not a surprise as it's increasingly becoming the norm in gaming laptops. Image quality is the real surprise. The Razer Blade 14 features fantastic color saturation, hitting 90% of Adobe RGB and 100% of sRGB color spaces, which is basically unheard of for gaming laptops. Color accuracy is similarly spot on, and the max brightness is 315 nits. That's nowhere near as bright as the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, which is the brightest gaming laptop I'd ever tested. Do I wish this looked more like the Razer Book 13 with its 1610 screen and tiny bottom bezel? Absolutely. A taller screen would have allowed for a smaller bottom bezel and more screen real estate, all without needing to shrink the overall footprint. For now, Razer seems happy to stick with 16 to 9 on its gaming laptops. Despite my affinity for thin bezels, it's hard to complain about a screen that looks this good. The Razer Blade 14 has its healthy selection of ports available. On the left side, you'll find USB-C, USB-A, a headphone jack, and the proprietary Razer charging port. On the right side, you get one more USB-A, one more USB-C, and even HDMI 2.1. HDMI will likely be your primary method for docking the Razer Blade 14 to a monitor, though both USB-C ports also feature DisplayPort 1.4 and power delivery. When gaming though, you'll want to use Razer's own power charger, which features a nicely braided cable connected to a 230-watt power adapter. It's large for this size of laptop, but when you're juicing up power-hungry components like these, it's unavoidable. I would have liked to see Razer include a full-size SD card slot as the Blade 15 does, which is hugely convenient for photographers and videographers. The Razer Blade 14 also features Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 for the latest wireless connectivity. Everything else is just as you'd expect it on a Razer laptop. The keyboard and touchpad are both great, and the per-key RGB backlighting is as customizable as it gets with an insane 15 levels of brightness control. It sounds excessive, but compared to the 3 or 4 levels that many gaming laptops offer, I can't complain. Razer even throws in some nice touches like the Windows Hello IR camera above the screen and some decent speakers. They're upward firing and are THX certified, which basically just means THX help test them to make sure they don't do things like distort at high volume. The result is a decent set of speakers for watching videos or listening to music. Unfortunately, the fan noise will get in the way of you appreciating the speakers while gaming. Razer promises 12 hours of battery life with the Blade 14. That's unheard of in a laptop with a beefy RTX 3070 or 3080 inside, but the Razer Blade gets surprisingly close. It landed 11 hours and 20 minutes in our local video playback test, 
which is almost 3 hours longer than the Razer Blade 15. It's a similar comparison in our light web browsing test, where it lasted 8 hours and 17 minutes. The Razer Blade 14 also outlasts the ROG Zephyrus G14 and Predator Trident 300 SE, which were previously the champions in gaming laptop battery life performance. You'll only get so much battery life from a laptop with an RTX 3070 inside, but Razer has squeezed more out of the 61.6 watt hour battery that I thought was possible. I never doubted that the Razer Blade 14 would be a beautiful, well constructed laptop. Performance and thermals are what had me worried. But as soon as I started using the Razer Blade 14, many of those worries were put to rest. In some ways, the Razer Blade 14 is actually more powerful than its larger sibling. That's thanks to the processor inside, which is the 8-core, 16-thread AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX. On raw performance alone, this is the king of gaming laptop processors right now. The fact that it finally has a home in the Razer lineup feels like an important moment for AMD. I know Cinebench isn't the be-all and end-all of processor performance, but it's mind-blowing that putting this Ryzen chip in the Razer Blade 14 blows the Razer Blade 15 out of the water in this benchmark. It's a similar result in a video encoding test in Handbrake, where the Razer Blade 15 was 25% slower with its Intel processor. Add an RTX 30 series graphics card to the mix, and you'll be very happy with the content creation performance. There are plenty of cheaper gaming laptops that are just as powerful as the Razer Blade 14, such as the all-AMD ROG Strix G15. But none of its competitors have the premium fit and finish of the Razer Blade 14, nor the extremely small size. Add in good battery life, a colorful display, and surprisingly great gaming performance, and you've got the makings of a new standard for gaming laptops. The fact that it comes $500 cheaper than a similar configuration of the Razer Blade 15 is icing on the cake.